So today we got a, a close look on the Tandem XE and uh, on what it, uh, yeah, what's the, the special, uh, what's special about it um, to get you, uh, yeah, an overview on the, let's say, outside of the radio. And if that is interesting for you, you definitely need to stay tuned. It's a 10 minute video, but if you're interested in that video, you will uh yeah have a lot of fun or a lot of information in that 10 minutes so stay tuned and there will be another video for the inside let's say for the setup and yeah that's another part so stay tuned so hi together today we have a look on the brand new tandem xe XE, is that right? Yeah, however. So, however, we have a look on that radio. And why do we have a look together on that radio? That's super easy. It's a new radio, it's made for construction machines, and that's why it's interesting for our customers. So, um, yeah, and we've got several questions. Do you had, uh, do you know that radio? Do you uh, had it uh, in your hands? Uh, how does it feel? How does it look like? And yeah, so we got it uh, here to um, have a closer look um, because uh, it's obvious with the 3D sticks it's made for construction machines or it can be used at least for construction machines so yeah it's anyway worth having a look uh, and see what it's all about yeah let's start uh, the radio comes like that it comes in a uh, in a case in an aluminium case just try to bring that in here yep that we are here to look on the radio, not on the case, but it comes in a case. And um, yeah, the, that little handheld hand support, however you want to call it, it's already mounted. And there's another cool feature. By the way, it's a, it's not a handheld radio. It's not made as a handheld radio, which I personally really like. Uh, uh, <clears throat> because I prefer that kind of shape instead of a handheld radio that I put in a in a in a tray. Um, to me, that let's say layout or design uh, makes more sense. And if you uh, want to have it not handheld, you need a strap for your neck neck strap, and that need to be mounted somewhere. And here, the tandem brings that cool option could be nice if it would be fixed here as well but it's anyway it's cool it's an aluminium uh, uh, support for the neck strap that's always on the radio it comes with the radio you have always have it with you and if you don't need it you just push it in and so it's really uh, easy to put it in the uh, in the transport case which is uh, quite often a problem with other radios if you install it in a in a tray or you may have that neck strap support it makes it quite uh, just uh, um, <clears throat> yeah it, uh, it, it it don't fit in the case anymore so that's a really cool option to me the housing itself looks like that looks really really nice to me also can have a look from the back together like that so it's a it's a plastic housing um, with some um, aluminium plates in here so that's an aluminium plate that's an aluminium plate anodized with nice edges uh, with that silver edges looks really cool and in the middle a carbon plate so yeah the, i really like the the housing on the radio but um before we talk too much on that uh, just to uh, a quick um yeah why do we do a special look on that uh, on that uh, um, radio uh, is it that i say that's the radio now no it's just as i said before it's brand new and there is lots and lots of other reports uh, on all the common radios so <clears throat> i want to give you a, a look here 
uh, on that new radio because you can't find uh, too much or almost nothing uh, in uh, on YouTube. So uh, we want to be yeah, one of the early <laughs> guys uh, that shared information with you uh, and may if you think about buying a radio that <clears throat> at least you get some more uh, information about it uh, than just some pictures. So that's the reason. It's not that I said that's the, the one. Uh, I only show you video of that radio. I could do that if you, uh, with other radios. If you if you would like me to show you other radios, uh, share uh, type it in the comments. It's not a problem. We have a lot of radios here. We have Scalart here. We have the AT radios here. Uh, quite often I have also the Paladin uh, and uh, yeah, uh, lots of other radios. So. Uh, if that's interesting for you, so look on a radio, just let me know and either we have it directly here or uh, if we got one in hand, we can do a, a quick video. But back to the Tandem XE, um, it comes with, uh, yeah, like you see it here, um, that uh, little sliders there on the side, normally the air, it is sliders. Uh, I bought directly the upgrade to have it uh, self-centering, which is uh, to me quite useful if I want to use it for tracks of the excavator. Of course, you also can put it on a different layer. So have the uh, one, one time the tracks here on the sticks and then you flick a switch and you've got the tracks on the stick. That's also possible, of course. But uh, yeah, to me it just made sense. So I ordered that as an, that's an upgrade part. Uh, you can uh, they fit left and right really easy to install you need to open the housing but it's really uh, really easy to install that so then we got that slider in the middle not self-centering but it have a real precise center so you know when you are in the middle um, then you got that uh, 3d sticks and they are quite cool uh, because it's just the middle section here is turning and the top one is just fixed so sometimes if you if you operate and the whole thing is uh, sliding it can be possible that you uh, activate that function without uh, yeah uh, uh, um, you, you don't want to activate it but while working here you need to be careful the model behind is switched on um, so that that's quite cool uh, you can uh, uh, have, a, have it here on top and that's just fixed so there's no problem uh, i like the idea on that what i also like you have little uh, turn pots here hope you can see that you can turn them so you have four of them and you can uh, if you need them you can get them uh, out and if not you can get them back in really cool option as i said it's four of them <clears throat> and um yeah the other thing is you have um switches here like it comes with, with quite a lot of switches and that's <clears throat> something i don't really like i would um prefer um yeah self-centering uh, uh switches or however the, the word in english so <clears throat> not a switch so, uh, or a moment switch, spring loaded switch, however you want to call it. So something like that. There is one, but only a two-way one. And for our models, it's nice to have uh, some, uh, yeah, uh, three-way momentum self-centering switches, however you want to call it. You have two buttons here on top, which is quite cool. Um, you can use them separate or connect them together. But what you have is the buttons here, the blue ones. And that's not really uh, that there is something written beside for uh, to see what it's, what it's doing. That would be a really cool option to me. Um, but you can use them as, um, uh, as uh, kind of yeah, buttons. You can uh, uh, set them up as on-off switches. I have them um, uh, programmed as a one, two, three switch. Okay. We'll show you uh, in a separate video what I use it for. And uh, yeah, you have them on both sides. So um, you can. Uh, 
use that for for a function where you need a kind of uh, momentum uh, or self-centering um, switches you can use them as well and before we go and have a look in the uh, in the yeah setup in the menu um, that's what we do in a separate video uh, it's um, yeah just want to have a quick overview on the radio as you see uh, it uh, have two screens that's not a touch screen that's just to look nice you can show uh, uh, your model there and uh, here you can do whatever you want you can have a, uh, also a picture or timers or you can set that up as you want um, but as I said we look have a um, look on that in a different video okay and if that's interesting for you we'll see you in the next video